Yes. We gotta switch gears for a second. You're looking for some new entertainment now that Game of Thrones is over. Don't get me started. I heard it wasn't good the last Garbage. few. Anyway. Uh, we got a show for oh, you. Man. The I Lakers. Watched yet. Don't tell me. Uh, I'm glad I'll tell I you never everything. watched. Chauncey always watched. No dragons, <laughs> no undead armies, but we do have a lot of backstabbing and some magic. I like wow. what you did there. Hey. <laughs> I like that. I start hearing, you know, magic, you're not working hard enough. Magic's not in the office. So people around the Laker office was telling me, Rob was saying things. and Rob Palenka. Uh, Rob Palenka. And I didn't like those things being said behind my back, that I wasn't in the office enough and so on and on. The straw that broke the camel's back was I wanted to fire Luke Walton. And we had max three meetings. I showed her the things he did well and the things he didn't do well. And I said, listen, we got to get a better coach. I like him. He's great. Former Laker, the whole thing. So when we went back and forth like that, and then she brought Tim Harris into the meeting. And Tim, he wanted to keep him because he was friends with Luke. When I looked up and said, wait a minute, I only really answered to Jeannie Buss. Now I got Tim involved. And I said, it's time for me to go. I told them when it's not fun for me, when I think that I don't have the decision-making power that I thought I had, then I gotta step aside. Timing, of course, is everything. The franchise introduced its new head coach, Frank Vogel, this afternoon after that morning that we, of course, just watched Magic do his thing. Uh, Rob Polinka and Vogel had some things to discuss. I think for any of us, we know who we are in ourselves. We know the characteristics and qualities we stand for. And we know as a staff and feel very strongly that if people judge and evaluate us for who we are as an organization and the vision and path we have going forward, we feel there'll be a very, very strong appeal for the great players to come here. You know, I understand what the perception is when you lose for a few years and some things happen like that can happen. Okay. But there's a positive vibe happening with our, with our team right now. There really is. Okay. And you know, it's just one of those things that you're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, but you're going to be happy with, with the product that we put on the floor this year and where we're going as an organization. You really are. That man needs a hug. Uh, if you're wondering where LeBron was, he was there. All right, he's at Lakers practice facility, was taking in the festivities, a very 80s nod right there with the neon. But all things being said, uh, your takeaways from what was said today between Magic and Palenka. Magic dropped an atomic bomb on the Los Angeles Lakers franchise. Fair. So this idea that he's going to continue to help them recruit players, the opposite just happened today because he clearly can't be in any pitch meetings with the people that he talked about today. And he didn't hold back on anybody because everybody, he was an equal opportunity employer. Start with Jeannie Buss. He questioned her lack of leadership and having too many people in her ear. He questioned Rob, said that he was a backstabber, questioned Tim Harris, wanted him to stay in his lane, and he said he wanted Tyron Lue over Frank Vogel to be the coach. Yep, that, so, that sums it up. That interview, while I am so glad he got a chance to express himself, my childhood idol, and Rob Palenka, a friend of mine who I played college with, so I think I'm a fair referee here. Okay. I think what he did today does not put them any closer to getting big-time free agents. You, you think he actually did more damage, even though he said, I'm still going to be in my courtside seats and I'm still going to be here um, when they call me. I'm going to do this and this and this. You think ultimately what he wanted to take the team down a little bit further? No, he just wanted to, he just confirmed what we all thought and what we all heard. You know, when you're trying to move forward as an organization, there can't be any disconnect between your president, your GM and your owner. And, you know, free agents, they hear, they watch, they see this. And as far as moving forward, this was a big blow to the Lakers. I mean, because if I'm a free agent right now, I'm like, there's still probably some disconnect in that organization. How do I go to an organization that doesn't seem to be very stable right now, even though you just hired a coach, uh, a very good coach at that? You know, there's still some questions to be answered about Rob Palenka and, and where does he fit in, you know, because uh, you I think the trust is broken. You know, I mean, within the organization. I feel like the questions were answered. We got the answers. You know, I really do. I feel like the questions were answered today. Um, Magic got a chance to really kind of tell his side, Exercise tell his story. His and people, every everybody was like, man, this dude just quit in the right. Nobody knew he was. Now everybody understands why. And I always say that the dysfunction always starts at the top. 
And it does. It's just true. Um, and and he Jalen laid it out perfectly. And when you ha when these like Paul said, when these things are not connected, it just doesn't work anywhere. It doesn't matter. Like there has to be some synergy um, with between that front office, between the coaching staff, between the ownership, whatever the brain trust is. There has to be some chemistry and some synergy. Absolutely. They don't have it. Right. The free agents talk. These guys are friends. I, I don't. Uh, Coach, Coach Vogel just said there's positivity. There's good things coming. I'm not confident. We'll see. I mean, backstabbing happens in every industry, but the difference between most people and Magic is he needs no one. He need, doesn't need the money. He doesn't need anything. So he had the freedom today to just call it like he saw it. And it was, uh, if nothing else, it was entertaining. Yeah, being a president was just a hustle for him. Yeah, side gig. <laughs> uh, ooh, time to check out who has arriving in style. Brought to you by Chevy Blazer. Oh, wow. Oh, that's the crew. Oh, okay. That's, that, See, that's okay. what I'm saying. Now, that's style right there. I don't know if it is. <laughs> Everybody got a sweatsuit on. Now I see how that looks. We